Are you ready? We're going five pounds down every four weeks in 2022. Today is metabolism boosting weights workout. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, Killer Bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we are getting started with some arm circles with high knees. Oh my goodness, that feels so good. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with our menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And you know what really feels like self-love? Finding that healthy weight with the 5-0 method, where every day we do five things and and we say, oh, I had no idea that weight loss could be this easy. We eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than we've been eating before. We drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in ounces of water. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. We get the right amount of sleep, which means that we go to bed at the same time every night and get up at the same time every morning. And we don't worry about how much in between was actually sleep. <laughs> we also exercise moderately, which is not necessarily more than we were doing before. And the most important thing, we manage our mind by finding our thoughts and deciding if they are helpful. And you know what? I've got a helpful thought for us today. It's I can do anything. Does that feel helpful to you? Does that feel good when you think that? When I think that thought, I feel so empowered and strong and ready for it. And by the way, <laughs> I also feel like I should have told you to put your dumbbells down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because of course we don't have dumbbells in our hands yet until we are actually doing the dumbbell work. Hopefully you figured that out because you saw them here on the chair. And if not, then oh my goodness, you've already gotten quite a bit of a workout today, haven't you? Because you can do anything. Here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 45 seconds. It's pretty generous. And that's why I really want you to think about having not necessarily your lightest weights, but something that feels very moderate, something that feels very just imminently doable to the point where, where it almost feels too easy. And I tell you that the first exercise we're starting with is meant to be a challenge so that you can drop your weights if you need to. There is no shame in our weight dropping game. And that's why we're starting off with one of my favorite exercises in the whole wide world. It's peekaboos. <laughs> So here's what we're gonna do. Let me show you real quick. We're gonna have our elbows at shoulder height. We're gonna have our feet about hip width apart. Core is pulled in nice and tight. We're gonna open up our elbows and close them up. And you'll notice pretty quickly, let's see if I can get this going. There we go. You'll notice pretty quickly whether or not you have the right weights. My friends, peekaboos, we are all about, speaking of which, not speaking of peekaboos, but we are all about good form today. We are thinking about having your core pulled in, which means that your tailbone is tucked under just a little bit. It means that you are, you have your knees soft but strong. It means that your whole body is ready for action, but also nice and firm in place. When it beeps, we're gonna do deadlifts. We're actually gonna keep our feet just about hip width apart, maybe a tiny bit wider. We're gonna really think about having your core pulled in so your back is nice and straight. You're gonna run those dumbbells down the fronts of your legs and then bring them back up. Now the thing about running those dumbbells down the fronts of your legs, your glutes are actually the real action in this train, by the way. Did you notice how long that 45 seconds was? <laughs> My friends, if you need lighter weights, please get lighter weights. You can always, always, always just go weight free on these weights workouts. Here's the thing, depending on where you are with your weight loss journey, you can do anything. This is why this is my helpful thought today. Truly, I want you to take this as your invitation slash empowerment. And by the way, we're gonna go back and forth with this pair of exercises, those peekaboos and deadlifts, just one more time before we move on to the next pair. So it's kind of a repeating, no repeat. We're gonna do a pair of exercises twice in a row and then we'll move on. So we're not like repeating the whole circuit or anything like that. We're just repeating pairs. The thing about knowing yourself, here we come back to those peekaboos. Take your time in between the exercises. We're not in any hurry at all today. Today is not cardio. <laughs> Yesterday was cardio. And in fact, tomorrow is gonna to be cardio too. But today we are all about good form. We are all about just tuning in with our body. We're all about noticing all the things that are going on with our bodies. We're noticing our core. We're noticing our dumbbells, whether or not they're too heavy. We're noticing if they feel 
too light, quote unquote, right now, but that's probably just about right. Honestly, the thing about moderate exercise, my friend, is that you could be able to do this exact workout with this amount of weight in your hands every single day. That's how easy this should feel. It feels different, right? It feels very too easy. Here we go with those deadlifts one more time. The thing about moderate is that you, you have spent your entire lifetime hearing no pain, no gain. And what I really want you to notice is that if you have pain, you will gain. My friends, we talked about this yesterday about how the harder you work, the harder it is to lose weight. You can make fitness gains like with dumbbells without pushing yourself to the point where it hurts. By the way, when it beeps, we're doing something I call X marks the spot, which means we're actually gonna put one of these dumbbells down and help yourself to take your time on that. Again, we're not in any kind of a hurry today. We are simply doing good form, core in, really thinking about the work. Feet about hip width apart, we're gonna have the dumbbell from up our shoulder, topping it down to our opposite hip, creating the letter X right in front of you. Now, when it beeps again, we've got plenty of time. We're gonna grab that other dumbbell again. This is our only single dumbbell exercise today. We're gonna to do something I call side raise high knee, which is gonna be a little bit of work for your brain as well as your body. And in fact, this is how I like to think about strength training work just in general. I really like to think about it. I like to think about having my core pulled in. I like to notice which muscles I'm using. This, by the way, even though you're moving your arms, it's actually an abdominal exercise. Do you feel how you are bracing your core and then squeezing those abdominal muscles? Here we go with that side raise high knee. So we're going to bring up one high knee while bringing up the opposite hand or arm out to the side, the opposite side. This across your body work always makes me think, and that's why I love this kind of strength work. Strength work is so good for you for so many reasons, not the least of which is that we are building muscles and bone density while we are doing this, even with very light, apparently, weights, or not apparently, allegedly, that's the word I was trying to say. <laughs> My friends, it does not matter how much weight you have in your hands. If it feels moderate to you, it is moderate and that is what we are aiming for. Here we go with that X marks the spot for the second and final time, feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider, really depends on where you feel balanced. It's really important to actually feel very balanced in this stance, having your core pulled in nice and tight really thinking about using your abdominal muscles to be moving your arms kind of fast. That fast motion, that fast stopping of the motion, this is something that we actually do in real life somewhat frequently and or might need to do in an emergency situation. And that's why we're building these abdominal muscles, these stop very fast kind of muscles. These are the muscles that can actually stop you from falling from when you lose your balance. Of course, by the other one that we're doing that side raise high knee, we're practicing your balance too. My runs, core pulled in nice and tight. Now you noticed that your heart rate came up a little bit already, right? This is the funny thing about weights workouts is that even though they are not fast moving, you can still get a bit of a sweat even with moderate weights, even moving at a very thinking pace. When it beeps again, we're doing sumo squats which means that you're gonna have your feet almost uncomfortably wide. That's how I like to think about sumo squats, even though that sounds like a terrible thing to do. Having your feet really wide and then thinking about pushing your hips back before they come down, just like we do with a regular squat, is a really different way of moving your body. So your feet, again, almost uncomfortably wide, just gonna have your hands relaxed or your shoulders relaxed. As we come down, you're pushing your hips back so that your knees are not pressing forward Forward, past your toes, which means for me personally, I'm not getting down very far. You also want to think about having your core pulled in nice and tight, having your chest out, your shoulders up, your head up without straining your neck. Your neck should actually be neutral. The way I like to think about this is wherever you can get to, and if somebody was across the room and you had something written on your shirt, they'd still be able to read the words. That's how much you're not bending forward. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call twisting step backs. And the first thing we're gonna do is get out of this sumo squat. Here we go. Okay, so twisting step backs. We're going to step back and then twist away from that step. 
If you'd like to, you can turn this into a lunge. You are always welcome to turn anything into a squat or a lunge if you would prefer that. We do have some squatting today, as you noticed with those sumo squats, but you can, you can do anything. My friends, no matter what exercise I am doing, you can do something else. When I do something like a squat or a lunge and you would rather not, or you're not sure about your form, or it doesn't feel good when you do it, help yourself to any other exercise. Here we go with those sumo squats for the second time, second and final time. Here's, here's why I love, I can do anything as an empowering thought because you can. <laughs> and I know that sounds really funny and really obvious, but here's what I notice as a fitness trainer with a public forum like I have. I get a lot of questions about what if I'm doing this wrong or what could I do that's the best substitute for this or if I do this substitute, am I really getting all the benefit? I want you to understand just unequivocally that what you are doing, as long as you are not injuring yourself, it is the best thing that you can do. You can do anything. Here we go with those twisting step backs. Step back and twist. The thing about exercise is that there is no one exercise that gets you exactly where you want to go, especially with weight loss. Truly, my friends, just so you know, exercise has almost nothing to do with weight loss. Weight loss is driven far, far, far more by eating the right number of calories. It's why that's number one with the 5-0 method. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing curtsy press-ups, which means that we're going to get into a bit of a curtsy lunge. Again, you do not have to come down all the way if you don't want to. And while we are curtsying down, we're going to press up our opposite hand. The thing about doing things your way. No, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Here we go with those curtsy press-ups. So we're gonna curtsy lunge and press up. The thing, whew, I gotta think about where my foot is over here. Sorry, I'm making sure that I'm not kicking the chair or the glass <laughs> case over here. This is the thing about curtsy lunges really specifically is that I very often kick something and so I'm trying really hard to be very careful. When it beeps again, we're gonna get into a split stance which means one step or one leg is forward and one leg is back. It does not matter which way you go as long as you know which way you're going because of course we're doing this pair two times in a row. So just pay attention to whichever leg is going forward. Here's what I was talking about, about doing workouts. Not only does it not have much to do with, with losing weight, there is nothing that you're going to get from one exercise. So here we go, I'm gonna put my left foot forward. We're gonna do a split stance and then we're gonna row. So you're gonna just lean forward just slightly and you're gonna row those dumbbells up to your armpits or wherever you can get to. You're gonna think about having your elbows pointed back. Sometimes when we, sometimes when we row up, Okay, there's actually two different ways that you can row. You can have your elbows very wide and row them up. I prefer a, an elbows back because then we're getting some really good triceps work too. What you don't want to do is just have your elbows kind of halfway in between very wide and very narrow because then, honestly, you're not working those big back muscles like we are trying to do with a rowing motion. Your rowing motion should come from the middle of your back. Like you should be able to feel your shoulder blades squeezing together. Here we go with those curtsy press-ups for the second and final time. I'm gonna scoot forward just a little bit. Hopefully, and the thing is, okay, so when I scoot back, I kick the glass case. When I scoot forward, I kick the chair. So I gotta find like the exact right spot where I can hopefully not do either one of those things. Yeah, there's the chair. Okay, anyways, you guys, still coming back to that conversation about how doing any one exercise any one time isn't gonna get you very far. The reason we exercise is to be consistent at it. You only make fitness gains over time. Only. There is nothing about any one exercise or even any one workout or to be fair, okay, other leg forward. Here we go with those rows. There is even nothing about one week of exercises. Okay, over the course of like a month, a month of exercising consistently is when you can start seeing fitness gains from that month of workouts. That's how long it takes to actually do something with fitness. Then it beats again. We're doing swinging knees to elbows, one of my absolute favorites. Gonna have our weights up at our shoulders. You're gonna have your elbows pointed forward. We're gonna bring up one knee and you're gonna swing it from crossing your body to your opposite elbow. 
up to that same elbow on the same side and then back down again. This is balance work. This is abdominal work. So elbows pointed forward. We're going to swing across your body on the same side and then down. Can you actually touch your knee? to your elbow? Maybe, maybe not. It's not about that. It's actually about making that crunching feeling without crunching forward into it. It's also about balance. <laughs> my friends, this will not be edited out. This is my balance today. This is where I am. I can do anything, but it doesn't mean I'm great at it. And it doesn't mean you ever have to be great at it. This is the thing about being capable of doing anything is that you can do things that you're not very good at. You can do things that maybe you don't love. When it beeps right now, we're going to do wide open side kicks, elbows at shoulder height. Oh golly, as we open them up, here we come with a side raise. It's actually not a side kick. Really want you to think about squeezing from your side glute, your side butt, in order to get that leg up. Here's another one where I want you to notice. Are your weights too heavy? If they are, drop them. Drop them. And if you don't have something lighter, just do this empty handed. When you push so hard that you're going to be sore tomorrow, that this feels like a lot, that you might even be on the verge of injury, my friends, that's not moderate. And not only is it not moderate, because here's the thing, you, you maybe are like, well, no, it's not supposed to be moderate. <laughs> because you still have that, that no pain, no gain. Here's what happens. So here we go with those swinging knees to elbows for the second and final time. What happens when we push just a little past our moderate, maybe a lot past our moderate? Well, my friends, your body sends out inflammation. And the thing about inflammation is that it's basically, it's, it, it's what we call water weight. It shows up on the scale instantly. Instantly, you could gain three pounds overnight very easily by doing too much work. Right? I know. We all want to think that the more we exercise, the more calories we're burning. But your body is doing more than burning calories while you're exercising. Your body is using, I'm going to say hundreds of systems. I, I got no scientific backing for that. Dozens, for sure, of systems that have nothing to do with just calorie burning. Your body is a miracle. It's a walking, talking, here we go with those wide open side kicks. It is a walking, talking, thinking, blinking miracle that doesn't do one thing at a time. Kind of like this exercise where we've got our shoulders in play, we've got our core pulled in tight, we're thinking about squeezing our side butt, like we're doing, what is that, three to five things just right here. Yeah, your body's doing that times like a million right now. Your body is recruiting energy from different places in your, in your muscles and in your liver. Your body is doing all kinds of things. By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing delt raise, high knees, which means that we're going to have our hands down in front of us with our palms facing our body. As we pull those dumbbells up to underneath your chin, your elbows are driving this. And as they are coming up, we're going to bring up one high knee. It's a little bit more balance work because we could always use a little bit of balance work. Ooh, doggies. So both hands and one knee coming up at a time. Your body is making millions of decisions right now that have something to do with calories, but not a lot. Your body is trying to figure out what's going on with your muscles. It's trying to figure out what's going on with your blood. It's trying to figure out what's going on with your oxygen, with your heart, with all kinds of other systems that I don't even begin to understand. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call star balance press ups, which means that we're going to tip to one side, and while we tip to that side, the other arm is going to press up. Now, to how far you want to tip, completely up to you. I'm going to go about here. <laughs> you are welcome to go wherever feels best for you and wherever you can recover from. This is balance work as well as strength work. <sighs> My friends. Really thinking, pulling that core in. This is our last pair of exercises. Really thinking about keeping good form and really paying attention. What does your body have? What does your body need? What will you be able to do tomorrow? If it feels too easy right now, that is probably exactly where you should be. If it feels like, oh, I don't know, this might be a little bit tough, drop your weights. You can do anything. Here we go with those delt raise high knees. You can drop your weights and still feel really good about this workout. What? <laughs> you can remind yourself that doing the best 
thing for your body, for your goals, isn't always doing the hard thing, isn't always pushing yourself harder. My friends, this is one of the toughest lessons I have ever learned, ever. I am, I am a chronic over-exerciser who is learning how to embrace moderation. This is still an ongoing process for me. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing those star balance press-ups. This is something that I have to think helpfully to myself every day. Star balance press-ups for the second and final time. And you guys, I already told you this is our last pair of exercises. That means that when it beeps again, we are done. We're not quite finished. I have one final thing that is indeed going to be a lot tougher. And you can do anything you want with this exercise. I'm gonna start explaining it right now because we don't have any rest in between. It's a single leg squat touchdown. And what I mean by that is we're gonna stand on one foot and squat a little wherever you can get to. The goal is to touch the dumbbell down to the ground. Does that mean you'll be able to? Not necessarily. And it doesn't mean that I want you to tumble forward. I want you to think about good squatting form on one leg at a time. And maybe that means that you've got your other foot back behind you with your toe down. That might be your best, oh good golly. <laughs> Your best balance today. Apparently it's gonna be my best balance today. I'm gonna to keep my toe on the ground and think about that good squat while balancing. Awesome job making sure that you're pushing those hips back behind you as you're coming down. Really thinking about recruiting those gluteal muscles. You should feel a squat in your butt. If you don't feel it in your butt, it means your hips aren't going back far enough. If you feel it in your thighs, you're gonna feel it a little bit in your thighs, but if you feel it a lot in your thighs, your knee might be a little bit too far forward. It might be pushing past in front of your toe, my friends. That was our last one anyways. Go ahead and put those dumbbells completely down. And let's cool this down. What a good job you did today. You know, you know, you can do anything. <laughs> and that means, you know what that really means? That means that you could stop with this workout today. That means that you can tell yourself that this was exactly right. These weights, this work, this was exactly right today because it's not the only workout that you're gonna do. Meaning, I mean, it's the only workout you're gonna do today, <laughs> but it's not the only workout you're gonna do in your lifetime. It's not the only workout you're gonna do this week. It's not the only thing that you're going to do with your life. I totally forgot to turn off my timer. <laughs> My friends, <sighs> reminding yourself that you can do anything is so empowering. Let's go ahead and open it up. <sighs> and then let's close that up. Give yourself a nice big hug and a pat on your strong back, my friends. I have for you here on screen, I have a reminder about what we are doing to go five pounds down every four weeks in 2022. The five things that we do every single day on our way to a beautiful, healthy weight. Thank you so, so much for working out with me today. Make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.